medical marijuana, so he probably just thinks, oh, they all do that. It's normal. It's not, but that's cool. Uh, so, what was I? Brown. Da, da, da. That was that one non flesh tone brown. Even though it is kind of a flesh tone one, too. Because this would be the closest thing to maybe, um, let's say, like raw umber. Now, the photo that I'll probably forget to post, but the light the light is coming in from this direction, same as on this one. So I kind of got lucky with, with the two photos to have a match. You'll probably have to sort of work with it, whatever photos, you know, nowadays it's probably easy. But like the top part is like, yes. Can I talk lower? Yeah. No. Okay. I'm, I'll finish up in a little bit. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to get the, some of this in and then we'll come back later. But, but leave some room between the colors because the light's coming in and you're gonna end up with some yellows and you know, gonna mix the, the brown in with like yellows and whites to try and get some of the sunshine effects. But the reason I wanna get this in now is because we only have that initial gray shade. So I wanna kinda get, you know, I wanna, like, I wanna kinda make this thing look a little more lively. Just as more of a, just more than anything else, just to motivate me to keep going. Especially since I'm doing this with zero followers. And my father's like, you're too loud. He's like, can you talk to your imaginary friends quieter? Woo! Oh, man. But I am not complaining. I am happy to be here. I don't know how I'm going to blend the mustache in, maybe a little bit. But yeah, so don't color in your, your um, don't color in the white spaces in your hair too quick now, because we're, we're gonna, it's actually gonna blend in multiple colors just because, uh, you'll see. And my glasses, I'm gonna go ahead and not use a color in my glasses for now. But I think so far, we kinda, we're kinda off to a good start. I hope you agree. Uh, just for the sake of getting something here so it doesn't look too white, let's do this. So instead of just blowing off my chalk, I'm gonna use a different finger. And yeah, afterwards you get to use the wet, the wet towel to clean each other up. No, I'm not gonna say the word bump fuzzies again. Stop asking. Of course, then there's probably some people, you know, so there's, you're always, you're always going to offend somebody, right? You know, there's going to be somebody that's like, who is this dude talking about fuzzies? I've been shaved for, since I was 10. Just come over here and kick my ass for talking about bumping fuzzies. But, you know, I guess technically even for gay dudes, there's still kind of, there's some fuzz back there on some dudes, maybe. I don't know. I don't know anything about being gay either. I'm just trying to keep keep my open mind. <laughs> but okay, so bumping fuzzies is probably like not in gender specific, but then again, so is the term honey. Because it doesn't matter if you're you know, it's like one of the phrases I came up with where, you know, you dated a girl like three, four times over two weeks and it's like so is your girlfriend, you're dating. You're kinda like the, you get stuck on these in between phrases, and that's the perfect time to just say, Yeah, she's my honey. What does honey mean? You just leave it at that. She's my honey. She's my girlfriend. I'm dating her. I like this chick. Uh, yeah, when you're younger and guys are like, ooh, there's a group of girls over there and here's our clique of guys. Which one do you like? I claim. Like, you really have a chance, right? But guys still kind of do that kind of stuff. And yeah, we'll get into a little bit in the book, too. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, these two guys in the backseat of my car with the hot woman in front. I'm driving them. And they're not talking to her. What are they doing? Hey, yeah, man, you take her. <laughs> I don't want her to hurt my friendship. And she can hear this. And I'm just like, you douchebags. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, I shouldn't be swearing. But yeah, I'm, I don't want to get too many of my freedom, freedom wagon stories out. But, but you know, I started feeling bad for this woman. So I was, uh, you know, and we're getting close to dropping her off. And these two guys, I'm like, literally, 
Like, just talk to her, be nice to her. And if you guys feel like you, if you really believe that your two, your your twelve month friendship is going to be destroyed by the fact that you both flirted with the same woman, then your relationship really wasn't meant to last. It wasn't. But uh, but anyways, I got frustrated. I kind of pulled over, and I was like, hey, hey guys, uh, can you, can you give me a minute to, to to chat with her? So so they open up the door, and before their doors closed, you heard that freedom wagon. <laughs> And yeah, you know what? One door closed, the other one did it. And I did one of those fast, fast kind of turn things, like with, with the little hit, hitch in it to kind of get the door swung out, and boom. And you know what? That really happened, and it was Mach was all hell, and my dad sweared at me, so I had to go for now, but we're gonna come back later. And for now, uh, for now, oh, it's gonna be upside down, isn't it? Yeah, all right, Godspeed.